Hey, Buttercup. Yeah, Chip. Why does a hummingbird hum? Hmm, I don't know why. Because he doesn't know the words. <laughs> you know, this is Father Goose Music, and you're listening to Earth Kids Radio. Chapter 7 of Bird World, a bird book for children by J.H. Stickney. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Jennifer Dahlman. The Coming of the Birds in the lesson on the oriole you read that he came in may when buds were bursting into flowers i wonder whether you asked yourself as you read where he came from and why he had not come before these are questions that the very wisest men have found it hard to answer without hurrying to answer them now for if you read further there will be more about these things let us ask some country boy when the birds come back and which come first if our friend has sharp eyes and ears he will know that early in march he hears the first robin and with him come the gentle bluebird the noisy blackbirds and the cheery song sparrow the phoebe waits a fortnight till the flies and gnats begin to stir for his food does not lie in the ground like that of the birds just mentioned in april come many more birds but may is the great month for the returning tribes the names alone of all those that come in the warm days of early may would fill a page bird world in the north is like a seaside summer place very empty in winter but stirring with life in summer end of chapter seven hey buttercup yeah chip what do sprinters eat before a race mm, i don't know what Nothing. They fast. <laughs> Jelly Bean Story Page, City Mouse and Country Mouse Once upon a time, in a bustling city, there lived a little mouse named Max. He was a city mouse who loved the bright lights, tall buildings, and the constant hum of activity. Max had never ventured beyond the city limits and couldn't imagine life anywhere else. On the outskirts of the city, nestled in a cozy burrow, lived a mouse named Mia. Mia was a country mouse who enjoyed the rustling leaves, open fields, and the peaceful sounds of nature. She had never been to the city and found the idea quite intriguing. One day, as fate would have it, Max and Mia's paths crossed. Max was intrigued by Mia's tales of the countryside, and Mia was curious about the excitement of city life. They decided to swap homes for a little adventure. As Max arrived in the quiet countryside, he was amazed by the vast fields and the clear night sky full of twinkling stars. Mia, on the other hand, marveled at the tall skyscrapers, dazzling lights, and the constant buzz of the city when she arrived. Despite their differences, Max and Mia embraced each other's worlds. Max learned to appreciate the simple pleasures of nature, like the gentle rustling of leaves and the soothing chirping of crickets. Mia, in turn, discovered the thrill of city living, the vibrant energy, diverse food, and the excitement of exploring new places. During their time in each other's homes, Max and Mia started to realize the importance of balance. City life had its perks, but the tranquility of the countryside also held a special charm. They decided to return to their respective homes, grateful for the valuable lessons they had learned. Max and Mia remained friends, and from that day forward, they often visited each other. The city mouse and country mouse discovered that, despite their differences, they could find joy in embracing the uniqueness of each other's worlds. And so, their friendship continued to thrive, a testament to the beauty of diversity and the richness it brings to our lives and they all lived happily ever after, with a broader perspective and hearts full of friendship. Hey Buttercup! Yeah Chip! When does a joke become a dad joke? Mm, I don't know when. When it becomes a parent! <laughs> hey kids, this is Yossi, and you are listening to Earth Kids Radio. Hey Buttercup! Yeah Chip! Why do elevators make good jokes? Mm, I don't know. Why? Because they're so good on so many levels. Hey, this is Fred, and you're listening to the coolest radio station in the solar system, Earth Kids Radio. <laughs> 
Hey, Buttercup. Yeah, Chip. What state has the most streets? Mm, I don't know. What state? Rhode Island. <laughs> hey, I'm Ivy Goose, and you're listening to Earth Kids Radio. Hey, Buttercup. Yeah, Chip. If you see a crime at the Apple Store, what does that make you? Mm, I don't know what. An eyewitness. <laughs> Well, thanks for joining us here today, kids. I hope you had some fun. Hope you tell your friends. You can email us at earthkidsradio at gmail.com. I hope you have a great day, and you guys be good citizens. Captain Jellybean out.